All right, so we're going to take our paper, fold it in half, um, and just work on a half page for right now. We got my name on there. All right, so I'm going to start with the line, the horizon line, which separates the land from the sky. Right in the middle, I'm going to put a point. It's called the vanishing point. Vanish means to disappear. All right, so we did this the other day, um, but we're going to add a road, and it's going to end at the vanishing point. So this would be a perfectly straight road. If you did a river, same thing, it could go to that point too. All right, and then I'm going to add the lines in the middle, and they need to be getting smaller and smaller as we go to tiny, tiny, tiny little dots. Like the close, yeah, the closer it's getting to you, they're getting bigger. Is that what you mean? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. The lines are getting closer and closer together. Okay, I see what you mean. All right. So what we're going to do over here is I'm going to draw a telephone pole. So just a long, skinny line. This could also be, you could also do a gate. It's a little bit shorter. So I'm doing a telephone pole because it's a little bit bigger, so easier to draw. So I drew a straight up and down pole. It's parallel to the edge of my page. All right, and you're going to need something straight. So I know we have rulers, but we don't have enough to like have to sanitize them. So I'm going to use a marker, but if you have your folder, you could use your colored pencil box, your marker box, anything, something that has just a straight edge. Okay. All right. So I'm going to line up the top of my telephone pole to the vanishing point. So I, my marker is touching the top of the pole and it's also touching the vanishing point. And I'm going to do a light line that connects them. It's a very light line. Can you see it though? Okay. So I'm going to do it from the top and I'm going to do it from the bottom. So from the bottom of the pole. No. All right. So this kind of talks about like proportion and scale. If y'all do that in math. So we want to make sure that all these poles would technically be the same size but since they're getting further away, um, oh yeah, kind of. Um, they're getting further away. They got to stay relatively the same size. You could do a gate like this. This with this, this would be a super huge gate. Okay. Right. Oh my goodness. My ass couch. Yes. Okay. Bye, guys. Can we edit that? All right. So now we're going to put the poles in this little space and then use your straight edge to guide it. You want to make sure they're parallel. The most common mistake is that they start falling over like this. Even last period, a lot of theirs were turned. So check your straight edge, check the edge of your paper, make sure it's straight, and then start filling them in. And like you said earlier, they will start to get closer and closer together too. Oop, not that close. Okay, so I mark them with lines first, and then I go back and make them thicker. And then once you have your lines, you could add that little telephone pole detail. Are they all straight up and down? So I'm erasing that guide line. And then you can leave them like that. This is mainly just to show you like how things kind of go towards the vanishing point. If you wanted to add the little. Yeah. 
because you want to make it like a perfect triangle, I guess, and turn it that way. So on the other side, we're going to draw just like a little square or rectangle. This is going to be the side of a building. All right, so we can't see inside the building, so don't worry about this corner, but we're gonna look at one, two, three, and these are all gonna connect back to that vanishing point. A marker was a really bad choice for, um, yeah, so the outside ones. I know, and then it's rounded, so you can't see all the way around it. I don't have a box up here, though. It worked, that's fine. All right, so now this is kind of guiding me. This is when it's really important. It's guiding me for the roof and the wall. And then I just decide how long I want my building to be. So I have an upside down L shape here, perfect right angle. So when I complete the building, I need to do another perfect right angle. So I need to have a horizontal line, which is perfectly straight and flat, and a vertical line, which is perfectly straight and flat. Okay, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So then you kind of darken that. And if you want to get rid of these other lines, you can. And then you've got a very rectangular building. All right, so if you wanted to add a window on this part, there's nothing weird about it because it's looking right at you. So you would add a window or a door or whatever here. I'm adding shutters. And then if you want a door on the front, though, the sides are normal, the sides are straight up and down, but the top has to line up to the vanishing point. If you don't want to draw a line all the way down, you don't have to. You can just make sure your marker or whatever you're using is touching the vanishing point, and then you'll just connect it that way. So it does seem awkward, but that is what it, that's what it looks like. Okay, same thing if you had windows, the top and bottom would go towards the vanishing point. Oh, that must be wrong. All right, so to me, this looks like kind of like an old west scene. Maybe this is a train stop. Or a little general store or something. You could add cactus down here. Remember when they're further back, they're really little. All right, so what kind of landscape does this one look like? Looks like a desert. All right, so when we go to box two, we're going to add an S to that. And it's going to be a what landscape? Dessert, a dessert landscape. <laughs> so this one's totally not realistic. Um, it's just kind of for fun. Um, since Halloween's getting close, a lot of sweet treats. All right. So in, all right, landscape. In this box, we're just going to come up with ideas for like your background part. So like the hills, whatever kind of would be setting in the background. All right, so what could be like a, some kind of sweet treat that could that's kind of rounded or could represent like a hill or mountain? You me tell you an idea from last class? They had um, an ice cream scoop. Okay, so they did, so ice cream scoop would be a dome. Okay, and then the part around it, you do some bumpity bumps. And then the bumpity bumps wrap around. Okay. And then if you wanted like dripping chocolate, what? Yeah. Or some uh, sprinkles on top. So this part's just going to look like candy, but it's just an idea for, um, or sweet treats, but it's going to be stuff to set in the background. Uh, somebody also suggested jello last class. 
So it's kind of like, a, it looks kind of like candy corn, which that would work too. But it's like a really skinny piece, so like a triangle, very rounded triangle. That's the start of it. And then you kind of add on to it, so it'll curve. Come back around, and then another skinny one on the side. And then just a few kind of bumpity bumps in the back. Um, so I've got ice cream, jello. You could just have like a piece of candy back here, like maybe like a peppermint. If you're doing peppermint, you got to make sure you the sections make sense. So that like this could be a colored part, this could be a colored part, and this could be a colored part. You don't have like the random, like if I had another line here, I would have two white sections. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, like I said earlier, you could have candy corn. Um, do you have any other ideas? Okay, you could have gum gumdrops, like dots. And those you could add some like shiny ones too. Um, if you had like a somebody said a big piece of chocolate cake. And maybe make the side kind of bumpy. So it's like kind of like cake, kind of like a mountain, like a mix between, especially depending on how you do that. Uh, all the texture lines and the drippingness could be more. Mm. Or if you just wanted to keep it simple and you had like a mountain. But maybe it's a mountain made of chocolate and you've got the drippies or something like that. All right, so you're not limited to these, but these are just ideas. All right, so let's go to one of the other halves on the back. All right, so in this one, we're just going to have a whole bunch of different ideas, but let's start with the horizon line. I'm going to draw it kind of higher up, higher than halfway up. And you could have a river or a road. Yeah, but maybe it's like not a perfectly straight road. Maybe this one's got some curves. Um, and then if it was a river, or I guess it could be a road too, you could have a little bridge that goes over it. And you got to think about that horizon line again, or I mean the vanishing point again. This could be made out of like gumdrops. I'm doing lines. So somebody the last period said a waffle cone. So you could have lines kind of going this way. At the entrance, you could have candy canes. Or maybe just a little gumdrop um, or like a gumdrop pathway going to it. Oh, that'd be cute. Um, so again, this could be a road. If it was a road, you could have little pieces of candy every so often to kind of make it up. Or it could be like a chocolate river. I'm just putting some like drips in there, the little, little drips in the back. And then big drips in the front, or if you want to have like chocolate chunks kind of floating in it, um, or like a chocolate chip, which looks kind of like a weird shark swimming around in your river, but it works. It could be a road. See how I have like the um, little candy little patches, almost like if it was a brick road, but made out of whatever. It could be Jolly Ranchers, whatever. Um, and then think of all the different things that could be <clears throat> trees. Like you could have bigger candy canes. What else could be a tree? Um, you could have uh, like just a lollipop sticking up. 
So it's a stick with a circle and then a swirl. Um, you could have a cotton candy tree. So you've got like kind of the triangular cone. And then the very fluffy shape. Got some fluffiness here. And then when you color it, um, you just make sure it makes sense. You could also have just ice cream cone trees. So kind of, again, a triangular base. Simple cloud shape. Dome on top. And your cone, you could add diagonal lines and opposite diagonal lines. You could add sprinkles to your ice cream if you wanted. All right, and then on this side, are you caught up? You're good, okay. On this side, I'm going to add a straight little road because I'm going to add something else. So again, it would actually be coming probably from over there. All right, so I've got a straight little road or maybe it's a walkway or something. It's going towards the vanishing line. All right, and if you've ever seen like a Swiss cake roll or a pumpkin roll, you could have something like that. So I'm going to put over my road an arch, okay? So it could be like a tunnel, but the top, goes back towards the vanishing point and then the bottom goes towards the vanishing point and then you would end it this would be all chocolate or pumpkin or whatever kind of roll you have All right, again, you don't have to use all these ideas, just trying to give you as much to work with. What? Yeah, so our next project, this you'll be creating your own. All right, so I'm just kind of giving you some ideas for you to work with. Um, and again, this could be like your little tunnel would be in here. Um, and then what about the sky? What could be the sun? Okay, um, somebody last period just said like a gumball or a lemon drop. And then you could put like a shiny thing on it. So it's kind of like a sun, but it's also like a piece of candy. Or if you wanted to put the wrapper on it. If you wanted to add the swirling cloud. Um, and then clouds, again, could be cotton candy, which basically just look like clouds. Um, and then if you color them like pink or blue, they would look a little more cotton candy-like. All right, and then you'll flip to the last box, and what you're going to do here is a rough draft of what you want to create. So think about all the things we've kind of gone over. Um, if you want to add like little houses too, I did this one last period. I've got like a little cupcake house, or you can do like the gingerbread house. Um, this just looks like my house. Okay. There, now it looks more like a gingerbread house. Okay, so gingerbread house or cupcake house if you want to, just to get more, some more ideas. All right. So you do not have to copy me. I'm just going to start with my horizon line. And then think about like my hill examples and how I want to put that in the back. 